Alright, so today we are going to be looking at all of the Air Island monsters out of fabric, of course. Uh, so some of these, you, of course, we have seen last two videos. But we are going to be looking at some other monsters from each of the islands after we look at these ones, the natural elements. So let's get started. Starting up, being the double element of Air Island, one of them, Cybop. Uh, Cybop is a pretty cool monster, honestly. I, I really enjoyed making him, and I don't know, I, I just really like him. So of course, uh, his helicopter cannot spin because, well, it's fabric, um, and it's 2D, two-dimensional. So, but, uh, most of the colors, um, are pretty spawn-on, <laughs> not to my own horn. But, um, the only thing that I would definitely say does not look right would be the little fins here, because, like, they're kind of the wrong color, but they're bright, they're orange, so I think it's, it's fine. Um, I love that his tail dangles around. I, <laughs> I did not expect that to come out of this, but, like, I just love this. I don't know why. Uh, so, of course, he has, like, these little... Little things here. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. They're like pipes, maybe. I don't know. Um, the eye. Well, it's just an eye. So, but overall, uh, Cybop, one of my favorite monsters. So next up, we'll be going to the triple element monsters. We'll do two at a time. Scups and Pom Pom. So Scups and Pom Pom. Um, well, they were kind of simple to make, honestly. Pom Pom. Um, it's probably one of my, still one of my favorite monsters. That's really it. <laughs> um, you'll see that most of the monsters, like the the pommely, their feet aren't correct. So Pom Pom here, I would say like her feet, at least right now, I'm not really looking at any uh, images, but she has correct feet. And if I show you Souza. Ruba or Hula, you'll definitely see that some of them have weird toes, feet. But we'll look at that out of the day. So yeah, Pom Pom. Uh, nothing too special, but you can kind of see the little drawing that I did here on the hair. But all right, next up is Scups. Scups is probably one of my favorite Air Island monsters. I don't know why. He's just my favorite. He was pretty simple to make as well. I think my favorite part about him that I that I worked on was his teeth. And I'm glad how it came out. I didn't really know what to do with these little things here. But uh, of course, you know, I just glued another layer behind the feet. And there we go. Alright, and the last one we'll be looking at from Air Island is the quad element. Riff. So Riff here, um, took a while for me to make, I think like three days. Uh, you'll see because of this thing right here. This is the reason why it took so long. This guitar, this guitar is the best thing that I've ever made. <laughs> so this guitar has these strings that I actually cut from a broom. Now this isn't the first time I've cut something, you know, I've, I cut a broom with the strings attached to it and like, I cut it in half, so... I've cut the strings out, basically what I'm saying. Um, I have done that with Marvelous and Blabbit, but we will not be looking at them today. So yeah, uh, this guitar has, uh, pretty standard details. I don't know if I'm gonna be making the the rare of riff anytime soon because of the guitar mostly so so yeah and then we get to riff himself um i mean it's fine <laughs> uh the thing i don't really like about him is maybe the size kind of i mean paired up with pom pom and yeah, he's okay um maybe he's just like he looks a little sad but so of course we got the wings. I made the hair 
the emo hair. <laughs> Not the emo hair, but it's just weird seeing a monster with hair. Human hair. His big arms. I put them like this so that he can be able to hold his guitar. Like so. But if you don't put the guitar, he just looks like he's just pointing up. Look, he's just pointing up. Uh, the feet are probably my favorite part. I'm kind of glad that I started putting fabric behind the monster because if I did not do that, there's like five different pieces here. If I did not do that, it would just do that. It would like just not stand. Most of the monsters here can stand. It's just sometimes you gotta, or I have to, push them to do it. This is why, but I don't know. All right, so uh, this is not over yet. We will be looking at the Ethereals from uh, Plant Island. Sorry, Cold Island and Air Island. My very first one actually was Grumpire out of these three, but of course we will we'll be looking at Gas because it's from it's from the first island. Gas here, uh, it's pretty simple. I had a couple of issues figure out, figuring out how to like make this monster like like an apparition, because that's what Gas is. But you know, I think it turned out okay. So I put like a second piece of fabric on top of this to make it more of a you know, well a ghost, and it's like a cyan color. And then the green hands, and of course, normal, normal face. I did not draw on it, or for the eyes, because I felt like that wasn't really needed, to be honest. I mean, I can do that, but right now, just, I don't know, just not needed. He is kind of small compared to some of the other ethereals. But that's because of how simple he was, I didn't really need to, you know, make him big, so. Next up is Grumpire from Cold Island. Um, well, I mean, he's okay. <laughs> he's fine. You can do that, and you can flap his wings a little bit. But, uh, I made him do this expression, and it kind of looks weird. But, that's okay. That is okay. <laughs> Nothing really else to say here other than like the wings were uh, really fun to make. But yeah. Now, Rebro. Rebro. Uh, <laughs> Let me see if Rebro can stand, because I know the other ones can't. Some of, the, some of the other ones. Some of them can stand. It's just, but it puts a lot of work to it. Oh, okay. Come on, Rebo. Rebo, you can stand. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Rebo here. One of my favorite ethereals to work on. I mean, honestly, look at him. He's a he's a good boy. He's a big boy. But um, the issue that I had with him was his legs. His legs, if I didn't glue another layer of it, um, it would be dangling. I left that I left it like that for two days, and I could not stand it. I could not stand these legs dangling. I tried and tried to stand it, but I just couldn't. So I glued the second layer of fabric behind behind the legs. So that is all of the Air Island monsters and the ethereals. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do more of these videos, because there is a lot of monsters in here. I mean, there's a lot. So, but yes, uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this again, and thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Don't tumble over thumble.